Welcome to today's devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerving from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Aaron, and Wauwatosa. Let's listen today to Mark chapter 4, verse 9, where Jesus said, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. If you commute to work, you know the meaning of the word frustration. The snow falls during rush hour and traffic stalls. A minor fender bender and the interchange in the time of your commute doubles. It seems that Jesus may have been a commuter before he began his public ministry. The Bible says that his stepfather was a tecton, a word that's usually translated as carpenter, but construction worker would be more accurate because a tecton also worked with stone and metal. Historical documents from the period record that at the time of Jesus, there were many building projects not far from Nazareth. When Jesus and Joseph walked to their construction sites, I'll bet that Jesus was a keen observer. You could tell by the parables he taught in his ministry. He told stories about planting fields and harvesting crops, birds searching for food and shepherds caring for their flocks, about the scorching sun and the blowing wind, about lilies in the meadows and weeds in gardens, and about people doing both good and shameful things. Everything Jesus said should be important to us. Jesus wasn't just an extraordinary man, he was God. Everything he spoke was God's word. How well do you listen to him? Jesus said, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. And that was Jesus' way of saying, pay attention. He said this many times. Because often his disciples and religious leaders, worshipers and synagogues, even members of his own family, would listen to him without actually hearing. They might learn a bunch of wonderful stuff from Jesus while entirely missing the key point he was making, starting with, we are all sinners, and sinners face eternal doom. Jesus did not give detailed lessons on how to live holier lives to make God happy with us. He came to provide forgiveness, to remove every vestige and taint of sin from us. God's forgiveness is not free. Every sin, great and horrific or small and insignificant, had to be fully paid for. Pay attention. Jesus paid for our sins. The steep price he paid removed the entire debt humanity owed God. So listen up. Jesus earned your forgiveness. He earned it for you. And he freely gives what he earned to everyone who listens, hears, and believes him. Amen.